Hello, welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Python to analyze student performance and maybe provide insights for the uh, education organization. Uh, I found this data set on Kaggle. This is a public data set about the student performance in exams. So I think this is very interesting and we can use Python to play with this data and hopefully find some interesting patterns. So let's take a look at this data set. I summarize this data set in this small table. And this data set has a lot of columns, and some are numeric uh, variables, and some are categorical variables. Take a look at this data set. We have some categorical variables that include gender, ethnicity, parental education, lunch, and the test preparation course. Uh, and also we have three numeric variables, that is math score, reading score, and a writing score. By taking a look at this data set, I want to answer the following questions. First, uh, there's a launch plan, right? So student may choose a standard or free, re free or reduced meal plan, and maybe they, uh, different launch selections could have different uh, scores. Uh, we don't know it, so we want to analyze how this, uh, uh, what is the relationship between these two um, variables. So maybe launch plan selections may influence math score, uh, math score or vice versa. Another question is, what is the association between the math score and the reading score? So we have a math score and a reading score in this data set, right? So I think maybe uh, students who have higher math score uh, also have a higher reading score. Or maybe some students who have a higher math score, they, has a, uh, they have a less reading score. Uh, we don't know that. So it is worse to analyze by using Python. And the last question is, how is the math score is, uh, distributed across different ethnicity? And uh, this data set, we have different ethnicity, right? So we want to analyze what other scores are distributed across these different ethnicities. Maybe, maybe we find these patterns and improve student performance. Uh, I, I attach this data set in the video below so you can download and uh, exercise with me. I run this code on Google Colab. So I uh, open a Google Colab and then upload the data. So I click this file icon and then click uh, the content and upload the student performance CSV. Okay, so student performance CSV is uploaded under the content folder. I found that if you upload the file under the content, you don't have to specify the file path. So it is very easy. So first, we're going to import, uh, let me enlarge this font size a little bit. OK, we first, we're going to import pandas as PD and import seaborn as SNS. Finally, we're going to import mm, gonna from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. So I think these are three libraries we're going to use for analyze this data set. The pandas help us to load the data set and do some data manipulation. And the seaborn and the matplotlib are usually for data visualization. So first, I'm going to define a, a variable called df. And that is a data frame which holds the entire data set. That is pd.readcsv, because our data set is a uh, CSV file. And the name is student. Now you can see uh, by using head, I plot the uh, first five rows of this data set. We have gender, ascendancy, all the way to the writing score. Let's take a look at how many students in our data set. I can use the length function, uh, represent the length, and uh, type df in it. So we have 1,000 students in this data set. 
And what is it?、Uh, if I want, if if you want to take a look at、uh, gender distribution, how many female students and how many many male students in this data set, we can simply use value counts because gender is a categorical variable. And if you want to count the different labels, and we can use the count plot. So I'm gonna use DF gender. And、uh, dot value counts, and run this code. You can see that female student account for、uh, 518, and the male student,、uh, we have male student 482. Okay, and then let's go back to the task we want to analyze. The first one is. Uh, maybe launch plan selections may influence the math score or vice versa. So in order to do that, I want to use the SNS cat plot.、Uh, this is for categorical variable plot、uh, because the、uh, launch is a categorical variable, and we want to analyze how math score is、uh, distributed over launch. So we can use this function. In cat plot, first we want to specify which data set we're gonna analyze upon. So first one is DF, and the second one we want to analyze. We want to specify the x-axis, the launch, because I want to take a look at different launch selections and how their mass score is distributed. So I set the y-axis as the、uh, mass score. Okay. And okay, and I want to take a look at the how this median、uh, mass score difference over this launch plan. Launch plan. So I want to specify the kind and kind equal to the、um, box. That means the box plot. And finally, we will take a look at the data set by calling plt dot show. Okay. Right, so we created this two-dimensional graph. The x-axis represents the launch, which includes the standard launch plan and the free or reduced launch plan. And then for the y-axis, y-axis, we want to take a look at the mass score. So this is a box plot, and the horizontal line in the box plot represents the median mass score. Okay, so there is a a clear pattern between these two. So you can see that a student who choose the standard launch plan, they tend to have a higher math score, right? On average, their median score is higher than the median score that, uh, that that is from the student who choose free or reduced launch plan. Or this、uh, visualization tell us. A student who have a higher math score tend to choose standard launch plan. Okay, so、uh, this is how a launch plan difference, and how this is how、uh, math score difference、uh, distributed over launch、uh, plan. Okay. So let's go back to another question. What is the association between the math score and the reading score? Are they positively related or negatively related? So in order to answer this question, the math score and the reading score, like these two, because this math score and the reading score, they are all both numeric variables. If I want to analyze these two numeric variables, I want to create a scatter plot. And uh, luckily, uh, Seaborn has a function called scatterplot, right? And first, we're gonna specify the data set we're gonna analyze, and then、uh, specify the x-axis and y-axis. So x-axis, I'm gonna say math score. Or you can、uh, say the reading score. It doesn't matter. And y would be the reading score. And then plot dot show. That's very easy. Okay, and、uh, now we created this two dimensional graph, right? So we have x axis represented math score, and the y axis represented reading score. 
And it is clearly that it is positively correlated, right? So uh, it's saying uh, that students who have a higher math score, they also tend to have a higher reading score. They, they are positively correlated. And you can also further split the data set into girls and boys by uh, specifying the hue argument. So we set the hue equal to gender. Let's take a look at what happened. Okay, so further, this graph will split the, those dots into two sets. The first set is a female, and the, another set is a male, because we set the hue equal to gender, right? Because then we can separate all these dots by gender. And there is another interesting pattern we can find out in this data set. You can see that with the same math score, girls tend to have a higher reading score than boys, right? I think it is because uh, female students are, um, you know, more likely to express their thoughts than boys, so their reading score may be higher. It's just my thought, and they, probably it has a, another scientific uh, nature behind that you tend to uh, find out. Okay, so that is a scatter plot to answer the second question. And the third question is how mass score is distributed, uh, uh, how mass score is distributed across different ethnicity. Okay, let's go back to this uh, data set. So let's take a look at the data set. Okay, so we have the identity race or identity, right, and the mass score. So uh, it's a similar with this cat plot. So we're going to use the cat plot again, SNS cat plot, and uh, data is DF, and the x axis we set the race and identity this column because this is a column we're going to analyze, and then y would be uh, the mass score. And of course, if you want to take a look at the bar plot, uh, box plot, you can uh, specify the kind equal to box and plt dot show. Okay. So now the x-axis represents a different race and identity, right? So you can see group B, C, A, D, E. And the y-axis represents the mass score. Uh, if, I, if, t if I take a look at those boxes, I tend to take a look at those horizontal line. They represent the median mass score. So you can see that for group E, this specific group, the students from this group have the highest mass score, right? So, uh, and another ma uh, a group A, you know, that the math score is uh, lower. So maybe uh, if you are the managers of this education organization, maybe you can, you know, uh, particularly target some classes into this group A so that the, their performance would improve, right? So this is uh, the pattern that we find by using Python and to, uh, by using Python to analyze this data set. And we answer all these questions. Okay, so uh, hopefully this video is helpful to, uh, hope this video is uh, helpful for you to analyze the data set, and I will see you next time. Thank you.